Hello, hello again, friends and loyal Wolfpack members. Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to XCOM 2. Now, as you can see, we have a lot, a lot going on at the moment. And to make matters even more chaotic, we have a retaliation strike to go and address. And not even that, we have a UFO chasing us, so this is not perfect. Commander, if we have to, we can send the spark units back into combat even when they're beat up. Now, we can, as Shen said, we can go and send back Spark Prime into the fight if we need. But what I'm going to go and do is I am actually going to go and replace him with Mia Wolf, because we want to get some promotions on her. We have Shogun here, but I'm going to go and change a couple of outfitting, not outfitting, I'm going to go and change what they are carrying. So, here we go. We have our team ready to deploy, and I have changed them out a little bit. The main thing is I wanted to have double sniper this time, because I want to keep a lot of the squad as far back as we can get. Considering that we're using a scout, I think this should work fairly well. So let's go and see how it does. forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. No, we don't have a concealed position, but we do have I'm a coming. daring scout. So let's move up and let's see what we spot. Uh, dare I go over here and this way. try and save that civilian? Steer clear of those berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. Okay, so we know that the berserker is over in that direction, and we have to go to there to get spotted. So let's put our snipers into position. Got it! Where is our second sniper? Is that him here? Yes, it is. Let's get you into position. I think we'll put you here. No, 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 that's a bit too far forward. We have to keep moving. That's not where I said to go. I said there. There we go. Right, so these guys are in position. And let's move up slightly. Order. Hopefully we're not going to get spotted. No, we're not. Good. Let's go move no you problem, here. Boss. Put you onto Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. And me, I will move here. Sure thing. Now, what I could go and do is actually just go and throw a rocket right into their faces and go and see how they like them apples. Um. But I'm not going to do that yet. I am actually just going to go and overwatch myself because I want to be careful here. Because, yes, I know there are a lot of... I know there are a lot... We have to save the civilians. But I need to think about my squad first. And there we go. There go one of the civilians. Well, the problem is my, my squad is basically comprised of one of the few... Uh, uh, the last few... Of the XCOM operatives that are currently healthy. So that's not perfect. And they have disappeared. So where have they gone? So let's move up here. We don't see anything. So let's carry on moving up. Already there. I think we're going to spot them. Yep, there they are. So that wasn't the best. We do have a 59% chance to hit 
this one, so let's go and take that, actually. Ooh. So, I don't think we killed it. No, we didn't. But, oh well, we got very close to killing it. So, I can go and move up to here. On my way! And how close are they together? This should be able to hit both of them. Yeah, I think we will. Go for it. Perhaps I should have actually done that first before firing off, but oh well. I'm on it. So we do have another shot. 77% chance to hit. And there we go. Good one, Rob. Target eliminated. So I'm gonna put you onto long watch and see what happens. So we'll get a shot against one of these at least, potentially. Damn you. Or maybe not. So, what's going on here? Well, at least we get a shot against the Berserker. Come on. There we go. And we get a hit. So, he's not very happy. And we've gone and... We, no, no. We've enraged the shaky cam. So, we do get a good couple of hits. So, let's go and fire off with you first. Because that is a good hit. But I do want more wild to be the one to take you down because we need her to get promotions. And there we go. I'm on a roll. Yes, you are. So we can see those guys there. So let's sneak up a little closer and see what we can spot. Now, I'm not going to do much at the moment. I am going to go and put on Overwatch in the off chance that we need. But she was where? She was there. So we won't get spotted Moving here, out. theoretically. Delta, let's put you on an arch. Actually, you know what? We've got a battle scanner. Let's go and launch that off. Can we fire it off and get it around the other side somewhere? Let's fire it off there and see what we can spot. Wow, that's one hell of an army you got. I don't think we're seeing anything else. Let's see. No, nothing is being shown up over there, so that is good to know. And that's going to allow right. us to move up to here. Me, I am going to go and move to here we should still be out of range yes we are and that'll leave me to go on to overwatch. overwatch so if those guys move up towards us yeah we've spotted them so that means we're going to get a lot of overwatch fire on them and there is another berserker flanked by another set of vipers but thankfully they can't see us so we're really gonna have to deal with one group at a time and more loss of civilian life that is not amazing but not a lot we can do so let us see what I can wangle out of this one Frag grenades. Catch. Well, that is going to at least do some serious damage to this guy. And we removed a good amount of cover as well. So, what can we go and see? We can still see you. Now, if I fire at you and if we do hit our top end damage we can potentially take you out although I don't think we can oh, we can I suppose 
but let's not go and do that yet. Let's actually go and take that shot on somebody else. For some reason, you don't have as good of a chance to hit as uh, Mulwild does, but we'll go for it anyway, just in case you actually manage to hit. And you do, great. Covenant, scum! Yeah, wrong franchise, matey. Sorry, but uh, let's go. There we go, another kill. That's a good, good kill for more while. We really needed that one. So, we'll do two damage at the very least if we fire. Me, I will do three. But how much damage will we do through combat protocol? So, okay, let's leave that for now, because what I'm thinking is go for Jester, go for a shot. If we hit, we take him out, that's great. If we miss, like we did there, we still do two damage. And that's going to leave us the ability to actually still go and take this out. I've actually got the ability to take the other save as well. So between the two of us, we do actually manage to take that's him out, right. without him having to even come out into the open. So we've still got the ability to see these guys. And we can sneak up a little bit further. So that's what I'm doing. We do have more eyes on now. But I'm not actually going to go and engage yet. So let's just go and put her on overwatch. So hopefully they're not going to run too far forward and spot us. Because that wouldn't be fun. I know, they haven't spotted it. That's awesome. But we are losing even more civilians, so we do need to pick up the pace. And what are you going to be doing? Because I've, I've yet to see you actually do anything. Are they, oh, they've spotted us. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. That was, that was wonderful. You come out, you don't expect it. And we just go and blow your head off. So, let's go and throw our axe at the Muton. And somehow we managed to miss a 95% chance to hit. So, can we expect more out of this? Yes, and we do even get 11 damage out of it. So, that would leave, I suspect, a decent chance for you to actually hit and kill. So let's try that out. Oh, we don't kill him at least, but we do do almost all of his health and da all of his health and damage. 75% uh, chance to hit. Who else can we go for? 42. No, we'll go for the 75. Because that thing does need to die. And it is dead, so great. Right, next. And we got a promotion as well, so this is great. But promotions all around. Right, so Sid, what are you up to at the moment? Not a lot presently. So, can we do anything? Can we take out some cover? We can at least take out some of your cover. Which is going to be exposing that civilian, but it's also going to be exposing the Viper, which is what we desperately need. So. Chaos, let's move up Not a little. A so now that gives us a good, clear shot at this Viper here. Hopefully we'll take it out. No, we don't, but... Uh, Let's go on to Overwatch, so hopefully things are going to work out fairly well here. No, not the civilians! So are they going to be coming down? Is the question. No, they're not. But I am getting shot at, and I've taken 8 damage, so that is not perfect. And what are you doing? You don't really know what you're doing, do you? Oh, 
But you, we can finish off quite easily. 62% chance to hit. Let's go for that. Yes, there we go. That is another one down and out. I'm on a roll. So, Kiryuki, let's move you up. Because we need I'm to start getting in, you into the limelight. Me, you be there. Yeah, we're there. So. You, let's Stay move quiet. up a tad. And that's going to mean 100% chance to hit. And that means one dead viper. Down for the count. And yet another promotion. So that is going well. So what do we need to do? We need to move up. Good to go. Do we have anybody else that can move up? Yes, we do. On it. But let's keep them in cover because I don't want them exposing themselves to the enemy. That also sure means that thing. Chaos is going to be able to run up. And this will allow us to go onto Overwatch, or we could just go onto Scanning Protocol so we know where everything is. So, what do we spot? So, there are the enemies. We have another one in here. You know what? I'm actually going to start using Scanning Protocol more often in these kind of missions. If it does find these things, then I'm really happy to have that happen. I didn't realise that Scanning Protocol actually went and unmasked, stealthed, faceless. So, ooh, that's actually a lot better than I expected it was. So hopefully they are not going to be doing too much damage to us. And hopefully they're not going to be able to attack. I don't think they are. So we are going to have to get Mia to go and reload. So she's out of this for the time being. On my way! We do have a good few shots here. So come on Kiryuki, go and get that is great. And now we've basically got the firing squad down here to go and take these guys out. Go for it, Rob. Hostile target down. Next, we're going to go with Sid. So come on, Sid. Now, we don't actually manage to kill it, but that's not a big issue. What we do need to do is go, hello, goodbye. So that is a kill for Katrina, for Shogun. So that's great because she does have reduced will. And we do need a kill to get Norris Absolutely. to go and re-increase that. So let's go for Overwatch. To Overwatch. And cover in case the last enemy unit decides to come and show itself. But they don't. So let's go and see if we can spot them. So I am going to go and... Hmm. Jester, you do need to go and heal Chaos. Go medical! Because I don't want to go and run into an enemy, enemy unit being not as close to full health as I can get. So let's heal two times. Heal them up! I suspect we're probably going to want to go for a full reload. So, we are reloaded here. Do we have anywhere we can go and potentially get a higher vantage point? Not really. So, let's just move up. And we are going to have to go reload with you as well. So, let's get you into full cover. And that's going to be you two into decent. Yeah, yeah. we definitely need to go for a full reload here. Back in the and let's have a reload and overwatch turn, I think. Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely good to go for this reload. Back on the line. 
So they are over here, and I think they're going to be attacking this guy. So they're right over the other side. So that's not great. We do need to get up and get into it. So let's move up. And let's get everybody else moving up as well. Go, go, go! Kiryuki, let's get you moved up as well. And there's not a lot of cover here. So let's give you what little available cover we have. Then after this you can make a beeline straight for the building, get on the roof. No need to ask twice. So let's go and do this. Delta, you're going to have to move up as well. Let's get you here. Go, go, go! And last but by no means least, let's go and get you moved up to here. Which I think that's all everybody. Yes, it is. Let's take them together. So, are we? Are they going to make it into that line of sight? No, they're not yet. I go out like this. But we really do need to hurry up because we could really do with not having any more civilian. Any more? If one more civilian gets killed, we're going to fail this mission. So let's go and move up. Come on. So let's see if we can get them spotted. No, we don't. Hmm. We need to get somebody in a position to spot these guys. So let's go and Got get it. you up onto the roof. That's going to allow you to move up. Stick with me, and I'll cover you. <laughs> Enemies on the point. Let's clear them out. So we've got them spotted, and this is not perfect. But we can go and lob a grenade down, and at least uh, can we actually hit this guy at all? We can't hit him at all, but we can hit the viper. So that's also taking the Viper out of cover. So that is what we needed. Hopefully, we'll be able to see, to spot the Viper if we move on. Yes, we can. 58% chance to hit. Let's go for that. And we did hit it, but we did not manage to take it down. Another chance to hit, and even if we miss, we're gonna kill it. That's how it's done. So, Delta, let's move you up. Double time. And I do suspect we can get you on Lands the roof. On that position. Now, hopefully, we're not gonna lose any civilians. Hopefully, we're gonna bait him into firing at one of us. No, 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 no. Oh, great. Commander, the aliens have slaughtered the resistance here. We can't let them get away with this. Menace 1-5. We have to get control of the situation and take out those hostiles. Yes, so we're gonna we're going to have failed this mission, but we have well, we have failed this mission, I should say. But, at the very least, we are going to go and make Advent pay for this. this way. Ha! Have some of that! So, let's go and get this with an Overwatch double team. Is secure. 
Well, we only managed to save one civilian. It did just feel like Advent were far too stretched out and we weren't able to get much done. Perhaps if I had been a little less cautious at the beginning of the mission, maybe we would have actually gone and saved the civilians. But they were getting slaughtered left and right. But at the very least, we did go and get a lot of promotions, so I'm happy with that at least. At the very least, out of everybody that went, we got four out of six promotions. So this is going to help us quite drastically. And we've even gone and got ourselves a hidden ability. Kiryuki has got himself the rupture ability. A rupture shot deals critical damage and ensures that the target takes an additional 3 damage from, end, from all attacks in the future. So, we're going to be taking you quite often there, Kiryuki. And let's go for lightning hands. And continue. Now, we did manage to get an advanced laser sight, another PCS focus and an auto loader. So we've got some good loot at the very least. And even the Berserker auto Hello, scene. Commander. And at the very least as well, we did actually manage to get the will restored and increased with, with Shogun Katrina. So that is great at the very least. We do manage to have a silver lining out of all this after all. And we did actually go and lose that area because we failed that mission. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is going back to Setting Resistance HQ temporarily. Do we have... Welcome, Commander. No, we don't. So, let's head Avenger over to the Black Market. Make ourselves a little bit of money. Market is open. And we can't afford anything there, so let's go and sell some egg, some, the odd thing. Um, let's see, we've got a bunch of PCS. Uh, so we've only got the one now. Oh, have we got? Oh, we have. We have got all this as well. Plus fourteen will. I'll sell that one. Do we have anything else? Um, let's go Advent Trooper Corpses, let's sell a couple of those. Let's also go and sell a couple of Officer Corpses. So that is going to give us a little bit of money. In fact, actually, let's, let's actually try and make a little bit more. That'll do. So now let's go back. To HQ. For the East African sector. And what this is going to allow us to do Welcome, Commander. is get medical assistance. So we can scan here for a little bit and get a couple of guys back on their feet. And whilst doing so, we've even gone and got the Skulljack completed. And that gives us access to Skull Mining. That means Spark Prime and John Wilson have actually come back, so Deadpool's back in the fray. Mia Wolf has recovered These from her wounds. Will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. And there we go. We've got another bunch of intel, so that is great. The faceless autopsy is now instant, and then we can start working on the alien encryption. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. I've 
often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such so a that's being. given us the mimic beacon so that is awesome filled with these shape and let's go creatures. and should we start with this one or, or should we go for laser another weapons? construct of alien genetic tampering I'm thinking we're going to have to go for the alien encryption because we're getting very close to the edge. That research your priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Because if you see, we're actually getting very close to the Avatar project being completed again. So let's move Heading over here, make contact, and start working our Africa. way over towards the other side. Because how long have we got until we have the resistance communication? We have five days until resistance comms are available. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Leading the Resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Yes, and we certainly will do better, because this time we've actually got no supply, so that's not great. Well, let's go and reveal what we've got here. New, a construction of a new alien facility. That needs to get stopped. So let's carry on. Oh, look at this. Dra uh, Nate Drax Krillin has now been trained up as a ranger. So we're going to have some more troops as a backup in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. And we also have a new Psy operative as well. So that is awesome. There we go, we've now made contact here, so that's going to allow us to go and create a springboard out into the next areas. The problem is we've only got, we've got to have a little bit more time until we have access to do so. So, what I'm going to go and do is to go and scan back at Resistance HQ. Actually, I don't even need to do that, do I? I can go and make contact here. We 60 intel though. Do we have the ability to actually build? Yes, we do. Setting course for the West African sector. Hopefully that guy's not going to spot us. Great. But we do have a mission. And it is exactly where we are now. So this is going to be for a scientist and some intel. So, Operation Steaming Tea. Uh, so, Operation Steaming Gears. So I suspect we're going to be coming across a bunch of mechanical enemies, so we're going to have to go and prepare thusly. But I suspect that is going to be something we're going to have to go and do next episode, so I do hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Neither of those good enough for you, that's what the comments are for. But anyway, guys, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf, you guys have been epic. I will see you soon. And until next time, Commanders, keep flying and stay shiny.